All right, so about a half an hour ago, we decided we're gonna go to the White Mountains. We miss it, we haven't been in a while. We definitely need to go, and this is the thing. In adventuring in the moment, one of the things we set out to do right from the beginning is be spontaneous, to have fun, to just go out and enjoy being outside. And we're super excited to do it. So literally half an hour, we decided this is what we're gonna do. We're gonna fly out there, gonna enjoy the day. I'm not sure what we're gonna do, but you guys are more than welcome to join us and come along. So we got all our stuff back for the day. We got our cooler, uh, micro spikes, boots, winter stuff, everything. We're all ready to go. Uh, hiking bag, we even have a blanket for a picnic if we want to. So we're ready for whatever the day is gonna give us and whatever uh, we can find. Also, check this out. That's pretty awesome, isn't it? All right, we're here at our first stop, Pondicherry Park. Gonna go unbury maybe some of the obstacle courses in here. And we're parked at a different place than we normally go, so we could go right to the obstacle courses. All right, let's get started. Around the gate, and let's go. Look at that, we have to unbury it. Welcome to Pondicherry Park. All right, where are we going? Pine Haven Trail? Yeah. All right, you ready? No. So we found the first obstacle course. Unbury and discover. Whee! Whee! <laughs> Snowball! Oh. I got you. Is it a little slippery? Yeah. You ready? Careful. We're about to do the first obstacle course. Whoa. Oh, my knee. So here at Pondicherry Park today, going to go see the White Mountains after this somewhere. We don't know where. Uh, we're just adventuring, uh, just going out, just whatever comes, whatever comes. Uh, but our car uh, temperature gauge said that it was 23 out. I think it's colder than that. Obviously, it doesn't factor in wind chill. My lips are totally frozen <laughs> right now, and I can't feel my nose. But we're having a lot of fun enjoying this. Uh, day is a beautiful day and enjoying this park. So absolutely love this day. It's amazing to get out just 
spontaneous adventure going out in the woods and just this is beautiful it just snowed and there's a layer over everything just really untouched and so peaceful and quiet in here it's really nice just to get outside Which one? Oh, you're right. I think a woodpecker's been here. There's the water. That's awesome. All right, Maddie is gonna show us the best way to chill out on this obstacle course. You ready? Okay, go ahead and show us, Maddie. Oh, look at you. Are you totally chill now? You a penguin? So we have uh, followed the Pine Haven Trail a little bit uh, and so far people have been ahead of us so we see a little bit of footprints and uh, we've been able to figure out the trail so far just from that alone but now we're kind of blazing our own trail because those people went off in a different direction and now it is completely brand new snow and we're following the trail markers which are very convenient because if you look There are these things right here. It's not just a regular mark in a tree or a rock. It's an actual cut out pine tree, which is pretty cool. These things are super helpful. Somebody made a teepee in here, a little shelter, which is pretty cool. Look at that thing. All right, we found our way back to the car. We are finishing Pondicherry right now and on to our next adventure. All right, so we uh, forwent the whole picnic uh, in a 
a blanket or on a picnic bench because it is freezing out and we're gonna save ourselves for a trail or something later. Uh, whatever, like I said, the day comes, uh, whatever we find. <laughs> so right now we're going to eat in our warm car and enjoy this amazing view. I'll show you, I'll show you this right now. This is the beautiful view right here from the North Conway Scenic Overlook and it is absolutely beautiful and that right there is Mount Washington. So it's a great view for some great food. All right, we just finished lunch and we are on to the next stop. Let's go. Guys, we officially made it. White Mountain National Forest, woo! All right, here we are looking for a train trestle. Sarah went here a little bit ago. Uh, it was the fall and she said it's super cool. Just a quick little walk right off of a parking lot to find it. So that's what I'm gonna go do right now. I'll show you guys the train trestle. Wow, this is amazing. I don't know if this train is active right now or not, but it almost looks like these tracks are clear. All right, that was super cool. I'm glad we uh, took that quick little break to go do that. We're gonna let Sarah come down here, take some cool photos, pop them in the video right about now, and we're off to our next stop. All right, now we are at the Willie House. I have gone by this place a million times. It looks a lot prettier in the summer because all of this right behind me, it's all water, it's a beautiful pond, and it's a great place to have a picnic. But we're gonna get some views. I'm gonna try not to slip on this ice. It is just absolutely slippery right now. <laughs> and we're gonna go across this bridge. Oh, it really is pretty here. Look how absolutely thick that ice is over there. But there's still some water that is flowing right through the middle of it. It's beautiful mountain rain right here in the Crawford Notch area. So right there is Mount Willard, stuck between these two giant mountains right here. And this summer we went up that and got a beautiful view coming this way. And it was just unreal cool. Uh, it's a super awesome hike, totally suggest it. I'll put a link in the description below. So check out that video. All right, time to leave the bridge, move on, keep going to the next place.
I mean, honestly, like what's going to the White Mountains other than seeing Mount Washington itself right in front of the Omni Resort. This is literally the best view that you could get of the mountain. It's just incredible. And with a fresh coat of snow on it, it is completely white and really beautiful. So check this out. So we're finishing off on the Kangamingas Highway right now and behind me the sun is setting is absolutely beautiful scene and one of the things that was cool about this whole trip is it was spontaneous. We decided 30 minutes before we left, let's get out, let's go out to the mountains and one thing that always happens whenever we come out to the mountains, they're so life-giving. It's amazing to just be in this place with all of these mountains and it just, it fills us with life. It's exciting, it brings joy, it's amazing. The other thing it reminds me of is it reminds me of God, God the Creator, and how He molded all of this together with just a spoken word. It's an amazing truth. And when you hear that, and you know that, and you see that in the mountains that are all around us, it makes that word come to life. It makes it so much more real. It makes these amazing places so much more real. And knowing that he's a God who speaks and is creative, it's amazing to see him come through and speak to us as well. And so it's just cool to be out here as a reminder of that, to just bring life to us, to uh, enjoy the mountains, enjoy his creativity, enjoy the amazing things that he's made for us to enjoy. So enjoy this video.
So right now we are at um, one of the tallest points on the Kangamangas Highway and I am at the overlook and I want to show you as the sun is setting how unbelievably amazing these shots are and just it, it's beautiful. I'm going to probably throw in some of Sarah's photos too because she's out there right now taking some photos but it's absolutely stunning. It's amazing. You have to see it. We have now made it to our final stop of the night. We are at Chick-fil-A. This is the promised land, and this is the most promising stop of the day. Mm. Thanks for watching.